yeah, and just being, you know, being able to bring these worlds together and then, you know, always thinking of, um, you know, redundancy and continuity of work when things go down. And I'm always thinking about that and, you know, talk to organizations quite a bit who are using, you know, the relatively young adaptive companies and not young by age, but young by they're using sort of newer models and thinking in, in the new in newer ways as the norm. And so they're using uh, much newer tools and they're using things like GitHub and Slack and uh, Jive as sort of their underlying basic way of doing things. Um, and they're living in Google Docs and, you know, continually asking them, it's like, you know, what's your fallback? If one of these solutions goes away, how do you shift it to something else? Um, and quite often they'll have those type of organizations are tend to be the ones that are doing an awful lot of acquisitions as well. And so they'll buy a company of 10 to 30 people and being able to do that, they are getting capabilities that they can um, build out either for what they were building or sort of um, acquisition hiring to take those people and fit them in the organization. But they have ways of working and tools that they're using. So you'll end up with an organization of, you know, six different social platforms or 12 different social platforms. And how do you get it down to where, you know, there's a manageable number and they all interoperate. And if one of them falls over, you can switch to something else. Um, and that's sort of the, the other end of the scale of sort of the, you know, the enterprise that are doing things in the one size fits all is having these small adaptives that don't necessarily play well together yet. And how do you think through that? How do you see what's going to happen in six months, two years, five years? Um, and that I find it as much interesting as as the other side, uh, because that's sort of where you know the large organizations with a one size fit all traditional mentality, and they're trying to catch up to you know roughly current. You know that's going to be their future. Um, and to some some degrees, it's already happened um, without the center of the organization knowing. Um, and so it's just, you know, how do you have compliance? How do you have redundancy, resiliency when things go down, when things shift? Um, you know, and what are the models? How do you break, you know, what value people are getting from things and, and help organizations, you know, understand the changes that are going to be happening and be able to manage that shift when things are continually changing and morphing.